Hello, and welcome to my third lesson in Autodesk Maya. Today we're going to create a simple vase using common deformers and subdivisions. Alright, to start off, we're just going to create a simple polygon sphere. Notice how my spheres start off in the middle. If yours isn't starting off in the middle and you have to interactively place your sphere, you just go up to the top, create polygon primitives, and deselect interactive creation. Alright, so next we're just going to bump down the subdivisions here to 8 and 8. Next thing we're going to do is select the top faces, all the top faces, and we're going to go up to the top. We're going to change our thing to polygons and go up to edit mesh, extrude. I'm just going to hit the hotkey R on my keyboard, this way we get a straighter extrusion. And I'm going to extrude them inwards. Now I'm going to hit G and that'll extrude again and pull them upwards a bit. And I'm just going to hit G again, scale them outwards and just upwards a bit. Alright, extrude them inwards now towards the center. And we're just going to pull them downwards. Extrude again. And now we're going to pull them all the way down and delete them. Alright, so now I think I want a smoother curve here. So in Autodesk Maya 2009, you could just double click to select all these. But if you have an earlier version of Maya, say Maya 8, um, you're actually going to go up to the top here, select Edge Loop Tool, and double click on that. Alright, so now we're just going to drag those up a bit. It should be good. And the next thing we're going to do is just delete these bottom faces, edges here. Just four of them. This way we have a ni nicer outcome when we convert them to subdivisions. Alright, so now that we have those deleted, we're going to go up to the top, Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. And we're just going to insert an edge loop along here. You notice how it goes to the other side. And along here. Let's make that a little closer. Alright. And two more. Alright, so. Sorry. One more. This one right here. Alright, so we inserted those edge loops. Now we're gonna okay, go to object mode and select the vase. And we're gonna convert this to subdivisions. We're gonna go up to modify, convert, polygons to subdivisions. Alright, hit the three key on your keyboard to smooth that, and you notice how we have nice smooth Alright, now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a deformer. We're going to go up to our tool set here and create, select animation. Alright, we're going to create deformers, nonlinear twist. Alright, now, to give it a nice effect, we're just going to change the end angle. Notice how you get a neat little effect with that. You can also use this to create like soft serve ice cream or whatever you prefer just a neat little thing. Alright, so adjust it to your preference. And if you want the twist to be lowered down on the, um, or higher up on the vase, you can change the lower bound. Notice how you get a wider twist when you do that. You could even pull it up or all the way up, so it goes higher up on there. For now, we're just going to leave it at negative one. You can also change the high bound. This way you get lower down. It's kind of neat. Alright, so in order to delete this deformer so it's not in your way, just select the vase and go up to edit, delete by type, history. Alright, so that's just a neat little way of creating a simple little decorative vase.